Hey, this is Daniel with another Lightroom tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do batch editing in Lightroom. Batch editing is the feature of Lightroom that allows you to edit one photo and have all the other photos that you choose be edited the same simultaneously. So you don't have to edit each photo one at a time. You can do one and apply it to all the other images and it saves so much time. Before we get into how to do that, I do need to explain that I'm using Lightroom Classic. Now Lightroom CC is the other version of Lightroom and it does not support batch editing in the same way. As far as I can tell, unless my information's out of date, uh, Lightroom CC can only do batch editing by copying the settings from one photo and pasting it to the others. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but last time I checked, that's the only way to do it. Lightroom Classic, however, is way better. CC has features missing that Classic still has, and I love Lightroom Classic. It's not out of date, it's not old. Just get Classic, please, because it's way better. So with that out of the way, <laughs> let's get to how to batch edit photos in Lightroom Classic. Okay, so here are some raw photos from a photo shoot that have been unedited. These are just the, the three star photos that didn't quite make the cut. And I'm going to uh, show you two ways to batch edit. The first way is in the library module, we're going to make a selection of images. Two ways to do that is with the control or the shift button. So the first way is control or command on Mac. I'm gonna click on one image. I'm gonna hold the control button on my keyboard and I'm going to single click on a bunch of random photos. Look at that. I'm multi-selecting photos that are not next to each other, and now I can batch edit them. The other way to multi-select photos is with shift. So if I click on one image, hold shift, and click on the last image, now I have an image range. Let me show you that again. Click on the first image, hold shift, click on the last image. And now we have, you know, basically neighboring photos, consecutive photos, whatever you want to call it, and I can batch edit those. So I'm going to select all the dark photos, which is this one, these two, that one, that one, Okay, oh, and that one. So those are dark. I'm gonna batch edit these together from the library module. You need to open this panel on the side. If you don't see it, put your mouse over that very far right triangle and click on it so that the panel stays there. If you don't, it's gonna automatically hide itself if you move the mouse away. So click on it to basically pin it there. You need to turn on this switch on the bottom right. That's This is really the secret of batch editing is this teeny tiny little switch. Make sure that it is turned up. It's on top of the button that says auto sync. Don't click on that. Just turn the switch on. And now any change you make, such as exposure, will go across to all these photos instantly. Now, if you don't see these uh, quick develop settings, you may have your tone control collapsed. So click on this little triangle to show all the other tone control settings here, which is basically a shrunk down version of the develop module. So I can turn up or down exposure and all these other settings. Now, let me do that again. I'm gonna go back down with exposure so you can see them update pretty much instantly. Sometimes they're a little slow. So I found a secret. If you press plus on your keyboard to zoom in, it will uh, help Lightroom update the previews quicker. So if you have a few images that are you know kind of behind and they're not updating, like the thumbnail is not changed, just zoom in or zoom out and it'll update the thumbnail quicker. Um, sometimes my computer has trouble updating them. So I, I found that out. So I'm going to turn the exposure back up and brighten all these photos at once. Look at that, one click, and I just edited one, two, three, four, five, six photos instantly. All right, so that's the basics of batch editing in the library module. There is an added level of complexity if you really want to synchronize settings across a range of photos, but maybe not every single setting, maybe just a few. Like let's say you made an image black and white, which, which you can do by selecting a photo and hitting the letter V that converts a photo to monochrome. And I want to send that setting, but not all the others across the rest of these photos. All that you can do is do sync settings on the bottom right, click check none so that none of these are checked and check the very first one, which happens to contain the black and white you know, edit that I just did with a letter V. You can of course check any of these other ones to send only these settings to the other photos and not every single setting. Um, so I have this first one checked. And when I click synchronize, it sends just that treatment and profile, you know, data to all these photos. And they all slowly update to black and white. If I zoom in, watch this, it'll update a little bit quicker. There we go. Works every time. Okay. Now that's great if you have photos that you've already edited, but you do want to send one specific edit, you know, one piece of an edit across all the photos and not do a bunch of work over again. So I'm going to undo that black and white by just pressing V. And there we go. It's slowly updating back to colored photos. Okay, cool. Let me show you the second way to do batch editing. And this is actually in the develop module. So we still need to have a range of images selected. So I'm going to click on, I don't know, just these just for no apparent reason. There we go. Shift click to the end, press the letter D for develop. And now you need to have this switch turned on again on the bottom right next to auto sync. If it's down, you can edit a photo 
but it won't change any of the other photos. However, if you turn it on, any change you make goes across to all the other photos. See, they're all, they all have that downward darkening curve. On the right, you can see it. If I brighten this one, all the others have the same exact setting because synchronize is turned on. So that is how you can basically edit one photo and do what you like to it. And those settings will be automatically applied to all the other photos in your selection. Now, if you have photos that were taken under different lighting, like this one, different white balance, different everything, be careful because your batch editing may screw up these photos more than they already were. Um, that includes white balance. You know, these photos are taken in very different white balance settings. So if I, you know, quote unquote, fix this white balance to make it better, that white balance just got applied to all nine images. And if I go to this photo over here, ugh, looks like the sun's exploding because that white balance for the previous photo was good for that one, but not for this one, because this was in sunlight. So I can turn off my synchronize by clicking on the switch. Maybe fix my white balance, make it a little bit more cool, a little more you know balanced for daylight. Can do my edits to this photo. And once I'm happy with it, then I can turn it back on and I can continue editing. But be, like I said, be careful because any change you make now with the switch on will be sent uh, through to all the other photos. So uh, just be aware of you know what, what you're editing. Uh, I like to select a few photos that are very similar in white balance and you know exposure. I'll bat like all these three are pretty much the same lighting. This one's a little bit bluer. So you know I can work on these photos first and you know get them where I want. Uh, and then I can move on to the next set of photos that are similar, which you know these are similar right here. And then these down here are similar. So that's just a little tip on how I batch edit. But let me tell you what, batch editing is the only way to go if you're a wedding photographer or you're an event photographer of any kind. Do not edit in Photoshop one by one. Don't edit in Lightroom one by one. Don't do that to yourself. Use batch editing, save yourself time, and make your photo editing way more consistent. Well, I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. And lastly, please subscribe to the channel so I know that you guys like what I'm making. Have a great week.